Hey, what's going on? Core Conversations for a Wednesday. We have a Freestyle Wednesday, and I'm looking forward to you joining me in the comment section after the fact or live right now. And we're gonna talk about four phrases today that have influenced my business and I think can change yours as well. So the way we're doing this is I'm gonna just reflect on some of the messages I've heard over the past few weeks. Hey, Ali and some of the things that were talked about with Leslie yesterday and just give some shout outs to some people who are doing some great work and that's about it. Ali, if you have anything going on in terms of like online classes, workshops and stuff, please put it in the comment section. I'd love to cheer you on. I hope you're doing well, my friend. Uh, okay, and also like, subscribe. Hi, Amy, podcast. Yeah, it was super fun with those guys on yesterday. We're gonna talk some more about some of the things we talked about there. And Coach Robin Renee, just writing some stuff there. One more housekeeping thing here. Okay. Cool. All right, we'll just go with it. Nice. Um. All right, so if you have any online classes or workshops, anything along those lines, please put it in the chat section. And like the other thing I was gonna to mention too is when I do these core conversations where it's a freestyle, if you wanna join me on screen, I'd more than happy to have you join me. So click the request to join button and we can chat. Um, Ali, if you got a second, you want to join me on air? Did you want to just like talk about what some of the stuff you have going on so we can just repost it? If you're not, if you're busy, all good. But just curious, you want to just come on? <laughs> What's up, Blossom? So if uh, Ali's free to come and join me and talk about the stuff she has going on. That'd be great. Yeah, absolutely. And same thing, Blossom. If you got a minute, just want to share some of the workshops that you have coming up or some of the places that you're going to be speaking. I know that you're going to be visiting Erica soon. Um, yeah, so this, I want to talk about some phrases that have influenced my business, but I also want to give space for people who are doing amazing things just to talk about their programs and how all those things tie into us moving from a place of seeing needs and seeing value and all those things. So all of it ties together. So if you have like even two minutes to just talk about what's going on, jump on, let's do it. Awesome. Oh, hey. Hi, Martin. I'm <laughs> just morning. hanging out at home. <laughs> nice chill morning. Uh, yes, uh, yes, and hold on. Someone wants to make a cameo. That's Hi. Cool. Hey, what's going on? Martin. Nice to meet you. That's nice Sabine. to meet you. Mm -hmm. Sorry, what was your name? What? What was your name? Sabine. Sabine? Sabine, yeah. Nice. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, she's like, she's like, is he talking to you? And I was like, yes, he's talking to yes. me. Yes. <laughs> You're famous. You're insta-famous. Oh, yeah. What did you want to know? I forgot. What did you say? What did I say? Uh, what's going on? Like you, um, pre, um, 
pre-quarantine, you were flying around the world. And I remember our conversation was about how you were very wise and trying to figure out ways to do it with your family and you're pretty strategic with all those different things. Yes. And now that we're kind of re like the world's opening up a little bit more and now you're getting some talk speaking engagements and things going on. What's that going to look like for you now? And what's going on with your business at this point? I, I really feel like we're in this next phase. Like, I feel like there's another big wave of change happening. So yeah. uh, I have decided, so I was, I pretty much like once COVID started, I've been, te I was teaching online a lot. Yes. I've pulled back completely. I'm down to, I just, I'm teaching just on Fridays right now. I'm going to do that. I think for the whole summer okay. for many reasons, I need a, I need a mental break. A screen and, break. Right. That's exactly. I'm also trying to plan. I have a big, thing that I'm planning. I'm trying, working on my own uh, streaming site, which takes a lot of energy and time. Yes. And, um, and also, I just feel like everyone is reshuffling. I feel like the car, mm -hmm. the whole deck is being reshuffled. And we're all trying to figure out what that is. And so that's where I am. It's weird. You know, it's, it's weird. And um, it's exciting. Yep. And it's for people like me who I've been in the industry for a long time, but not in the Pilates world for a long time and a studio owner for even less time, it's almost levels the playing field because everybody is in a reinvent, reinventing phase. Yep. Regardless of how long you've been in the game for. So I see like Benjamin, maybe in, in the chat still. Um, and so there's people who are at all these different stages, but everyone has to stop and think about what the next strategy is. Correct. Correct. So and for I, me, yeah. that's a great opportunity to be like, okay, I'm in the game. Let's go. <laughs> well, and I, I really want to be very thoughtful about how I go back into the studio. <clears throat> I don't want, I, I'm, tr I'm really being careful with this phrase and I'm stealing this from Trevor Noah. Uh, he, like I'm not using the term going back to normal. I'm saying let's, we're moving forward. Like what, and yes. what is, what do I really want to do? What do I, what, what is, what really is meaningful to me and how do I want to continue? Because this is the time to also make those big, scary moves that maybe you've been thinking about, but afraid of. And so that's, that's what I've been trying to do. That is exciting. It is. Um, the, uh, the thing I used to say last year a lot was when with this started and we had this abrupt stop was that the, all of us had been spending so much time working in the business that we weren't spending time working on the business. Yeah. And this is the opportunity to go from working bell to bell, clients from dusk till dawn, to now pausing, stepping back and re-strategizing and, and talking right. about those things and, and figure it out. So yeah, that, that's exactly it. We're working on the business now. Yeah. So I'm, it's, it's nice. It's exciting. I'm on, and I just want to say, hi, Camila. Hi, Carolina. All, all my friends. It's nice to Amazing. see you all. And Tara, it's great. Yes. Uh, I did my 300th live yesterday. I saw that. It was good. incredible. I'm... I'm still kind of like, not bragging about it. I'm just like sitting back in that like, that was, that's pretty cool. I would brag. I would brag if I were you. You brag about that? I get out. Yeah. Absolutely. It's pretty incredible. Thank you. Definitely brag that one up. But yeah, that's, so that's what I have going on. And I'm doing a little bit of traveling for the first time. We'll see what that feels like. Okay. Like travel, travel or like work travel? Uh, a little bit of both. I'm, I'm actually teaching in Colorado. Um, so yeah, I got a couple of things going on there. But you know, it's really, yeah, it's really interesting. It's also funny, like I sent out a little announcement via my newsletter. And there were people yeah. who wanted to sign up. I was like, Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's not virtual. Like everyone's so used to all my virtual <laughs> right. offerings. Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 I, I, I think that speaks to the fact that there's still room for some kind of hybrid thing. Yes. Right, because there's there's the accessibility is um, <laughs> five three of them of me <laughs> Benjamin's comment. I saw that. Yes, I wouldn't be at three hundred if it wasn't for you, Benjamin. Thank you. Um, yeah, so that that sense of accessibility now, like it's almost like it's it's serving a different purpose. It may have been necessity before, now it's accessibility. I know it's really cool though, don't you think? It's so cool. And then also there's a real bragging rights. If you're doing a conference or you're having a workshop, I could say, well, Blossom's gonna fly in and be here. And Maria Earl from Spain is gonna be there too, right? You right. Know, so you can you could name drop because that person who is in Australia can now be in your conference, right? So it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty yeah. cool. And the fact like I'm I've been doing a little intensive on Fridays. And I have, I think we've got, I pretty much have most of a big 
portion of the globe covered. We've got someone coming in from Melbourne and then someone coming in from Finland. So I've got that span. It's just like, like, and that's somehow my new normal and, and bless yeah. everyone and thank them all. Hey, Martin, thank not you, the other Martin. I see, I see it, right. <laughs> um, and that's, and you just saying how the, the blessing. Someone was saying the other day that Kathy, I believe, was saying how the internet and social media has been so nice. Are we talking about, you must be talking about Ross Nash. Okay. No, actually, it was Kathy. Which, um, Drac? Yoga, someone help me here. Sorry, put you on the spot. I know. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. There's so D-Mac. many Kathy's in my life. Yes. You got to be specific. Yeah, Kathy Dmac, Dermac, Dermac. Oh, okay. Um, yoga. I can't remember her handle. Someone will follow me. But anyway, so she's super, super sweet lady. Just, uh, just an icon in terms of that yoga plotty space and, and what she's doing in her world. But for the amount of people who say that this internet is terrible and social media is mean and that there's you know, these images and the shaming and this and that, for her to just say social media has been so nice. I've met so many people and it's been so encouraging and Agreed. and I have these connections. I've learned, it's like, it's refreshing to hear that too because the reality is that social media is neutral. It's like money. I can buy drugs or I can feed the children. It's still money. So social media is the same thing. I can use it for good or I can use it for evil. And also I think, yeah, I, I've been struggling with this. I've been talking a lot with a friend of mine where we talk a lot about the people who, you know, they, go, they actually don't do social media because it gives them anxiety or they hate, mm-hmm. it makes them feel bad about themselves. And I never look at it as a play, like we sort of, it's sort of like we're all sort of trying to project this thing. Yeah. And we all know that everyone's got their own thing going on. And I never mm-hmm. think, oh, that perfect person, per- per- that person has a perfect life or doesn't, I, I just like, that's just what they're showing. I mean, I got all right. kinds of things I'm not showing. Be- I mean, <laughs> No, I'm serious. It's like, yeah. because that's my personal life it's or personal maybe life. that's yeah. something I do. Like, that's a different thing. This is just the thing I'm sharing on social media. And, and yes. yeah, I never, I, and even the, the, I mean, I really don't like the bad talk. So I just don't do it. And this, when mm-hmm. I see it, I go, I walk away or I turn away or I maybe make a note and go, well, that person always makes comments like that. I am not going to. So if that person right. comments on mine, I'm going to maybe not listen because I go, mm-hmm that's not someone that's maybe speaking in a way that is, I think, conducive to the bigger conversation. And so, yeah. Right. But I think I'm also older and I just am like, whatever. Mm. You're too too fit to use the age card. You can't, you can't throw that anywhere. Uh, No, I don't, when I say old, I mean, just like, I'm not. (laughs) Mindset. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's just like, you know, I know who I am. I'm not, I I know what I am in this business. I'm not, Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not, I, it's not 20 years ago where I just started and I'm just like, huh, what is all this? I, I, yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I, I'm not going to like steal your morning anymore, but I, I will throw out the first phrase that we're sure. going to talk about and, and throw your comment in and we'll continue the conversation. If anyone wants to join and jump on after, uh, please do. Reawaken your why. Mm. And the context for that phrase is, there's all of us got into Pilates or fitness for some reason. And you may have been working some desk job and doing a class on the side, decide you want to do more classes, become an instructor, and then you get into this thing. And then 10 years later, we're just client after client after client after client. So reawakening that why, coming back to what it was. I'm not saying go discover for the first time. Go and look back on what, what made you decide to take that certification. What made you decide to open a studio? What made you decide to leave your full-time job and reawaken that why? I'm into it. I mean, for me, if I don't have that answer, I, I, it, that's the reason I love Pilates and teaching Pilates is because it's endlessly fascinating. And we have so many different kinds of people and bodies out there. And, and, and as science keeps evolving, I was just on that call, Pilatesology did a call with the guy who wrote the book Breathe by James Nestor. Did you read that book? No, I, yeah, I heard about it. When my class yeah, was talking about it's, it's fascinating. And it was, just, it was just interesting to sort of see how people, how we're all trying to process this information and then make it make sense in our Pilates life. And to me, that's what keeps me excited. And I think as long as I keep trying to find, like, as long as I'm excited and interested about the work, that's my why. That's, 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 that's all. And I think at a certain point, if you lose, I mean, I think everyone has a different why, but that's my why. Do you know what I mean? My why is curiosity. And also, 
what, how, as we keep evolving, and I'm talking about in many ways, like uh, the way we language, the way we understand, the way we learn, I want to, I keep trying to figure out how can I communicate as best as possible? Like even when I yes. do my, um, when I do my webinars, one of, I think the things that we, that um, my partner, uh, Dr. Marshall Hagens and I, we have a, like, we kind of have a shtick and it's great. Like we, we throw polls out there. Like we love it. And mm -hmm. we're really trying to work the medium over. And yeah. I mean, if you talked to me five years ago, I don't even think I was Instagramming <laughs> five years ago. Seriously, seriously. So there yeah. You. And you know, like, and I, I and that kind of feeling that like scariness, that's, that's a good thing. Yeah. You're over it. Yeah. 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 Anyway, but yeah, that's my why. And I hope everyone had, I hope everyone's reawakening their why and, and really looking at what it is that they want to do and how they want to do it because now's the time to make those things happen. Well said. Thank Amen. you, my friend. Yes. The high five. All right. Hey. I will leave you and let you go to the rest of your call. Um, thanks, everybody. And nice to see some friends. Oh, I forgot how to leave. Uh-oh. Just I think you just press the X button. If I hit it, then I'm the Oh, yeah. Gone. Hold on. It's because I can't see it. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, up at the top. All right, goodbye, Martin. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye, Blossom. Thanks. <laughs> yes. Reawaken your why. What does that phrase mean to you? As I type it in here. Totally. Sometimes I'm reading a comment here. Sometimes it's time for a change, and I've been taking applies teaching holiday. So Allison, so you've been taking applies teaching holiday, and are you taking like are you are you taking some classes? Like, what are you doing to to replenish yourself? This is the time for you to to pour back into yourself. And if you don't want to type, if you want to join me on screen, you're more than welcome to do that. Reawaken your why. Maybe, and I read into your comment differently, maybe it's time pulling away from the thing that you're doing on a regular basis so you can reevaluate what's important, what you need to drop, what you need to do more of, that sort of thing. Hey, nailed it. <laughs> exactly. Allison, where are you located? And anyone else want to join that? Reawaken your why. What does that mean for you? Or if someone, or if you were just use that with someone else, how would you explain that phrase? All right, Allison. Come on, on screen. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Great. So great to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I only flicked in about a few minutes ago because I saw, oh, how's Blossom? What's she up to? There so, you go. Uh, this is what yes. Blossom's up to. <laughs> <laughs> so I am originally from London. Um, okay. I've been a teacher trainer for Stop Pilates for many years. And over the last 18 months, of course, uh, I think we've all been reevaluating what we do and where we're going. Um, my husband and I moved to Spain eight months ago. So oh, we lovely. are now in the country in Spain. And so there was always going to be a point where I might have taken a step back from teaching, teacher training yes. as well as teaching. Mm -hmm. And I found over this last year and a half, I was doing my own workshops. I was doing a lot of stuff online, all of the bits and pieces that, mm -hmm. uh, again, take some energy from you as well, but also trying it to does. give as much to people as well, trying to make, ensure that it was quality but cheap so they didn't feel as if um they were i was taking their money when they may have not been yes. getting the money themselves you know all of that sort of thing anyway so yes. i decided that uh initially when i first moving here was i going to take a break for about a year mm -hmm. that was my initial thought to get used to being in a foreign country and i never did that so what i've done is i've taken the summer off and the okay. summer off is not only um, my exercises i i run four times a week i I like to do weights, which I haven't done for a while. So I've just, I'm just actually bought some stuff to put at home. And then I do my Pilates. 
Um, some weeks I'm better at Pilates than others, like us all. I have my own <laughs> studio that, you know, I've got reformer caddy, the barrels and whatever. So I've got a, a, what I call a fully equipped studio anyway. And it's mm -hmm. all classical equipment over the last few years. Um, so, yes, I can do my own training. I'm probably not as religious as I, sh as I should be, as we aren't. Um, but it really was about gaining some energy. So putting yeah, some effort point. back into me reading books that weren't even related to Pilates or otherwise. I mean, at the moment yes. I'm reading Terry Goodkind, you know, so it's all fantasy <laughs> fiction, <laughs> totally different. And just taking that time to work out what do I want my working life to look like and where can I strike that work-life balance? And I think that sometimes gets lost along the way. As you said, when you're talking about building up your studio, opening your studio, suddenly you're back to back with clients. And the last thing you want to do is work out for yourself because it feels like a busman's holiday. <laughs> yes. You're like, sure. see, you've been there. <laughs> Thumbs up in the chat if you've been there. That's, um, <laughs> that's exactly it. So that pulling away, I like asking people like, what do you like to do besides Pilates? like what else like what else do you do like and so and spend some more time doing that those are the yeah. things that truly make us come alive and Absolutely. then we're, we're, we're rejuvenated we're like oh yeah we love this place thing too let's share that as opposed to <laughs> oh i have five more clients today Absolutely. now i have four more clients yeah. now i have three <laughs> more clients and then uh you know like yes <laughs> So, and also, because um, you might know, but I'm an osteopath as well. So what I found is I was doing osteopathy, teaching Pilates, teach training Pilates. And then I went, oh, you know, and uh, anyway, so as I said, take the break. I have, have actually snuck someone in today, though, not as a Pilates, <laughs> <laughs> only because she was begging. And this is it. You end up going, oh, my God. So this person's begging because she's got begging. pain. I, yeah, begging. Great. I need to see you. And I went, yeah. well, I, I, look, OK, I'll just do a quick you know, treatment. It's not going to be a full, you know, stroking, <laughs> loving treatment because I'm on holiday. <laughs> right. But that's a great place for everyone listening to. When you get to a place in your career where you can choose your clients, yeah. that's a good thing, right? And when Absolutely. you have to, you know, as opposed to just having, being forced to just take everyone who crosses your path, yeah. um, you can spend time with the people that you're most excited to work with who Absolutely. are going to see the results. And that, yeah. And that, it feeds you yeah. at the same time so yes and the ones that actually do their homework right <laughs> the homework is key yes. <laughs> awesome well thanks for jumping on Thank we've you. never actually met this is, this is so Where are fun you based in the states are you in the states no i'm I'm in Canada. I'm in I know, You know what? I was just trying to say Canada because my husband's from Toronto. And he'd get there you me go. <laughs> and where are you in Toronto? Mississauga. Okay. So you are very close. He's in jail, He's in jail Peter just said. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We just got out of jail on Friday. Yes. Okay. <laughs> no, Mississauga is jail. He's saying Mississauga is jail. But he actually, yes. he, he was born and bred. Um, where at Don Mills? No, I was in North York. Oh, North York. Oh, North York. <laughs> there you go. But he yeah. moved to London eighty four. But anyway, yeah. I'll let you go. Rather All right, great <laughs> meeting. Thank you so much. Okay, thank <laughs> okay, you. Too. Bye, bye. Now I've got to work out how to get out. I'm a bit like, oh, just um, press the X somewhere yes, on the screen there. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Her energy is so great. Um, Sunny's comment. My why is totally about helping others. Now that I have people in the studio. The question that I didn't ask Allison, but um, I heard what she was saying, and I, I want to ask her, she can read in the chat or anyone else too. How many things did we do during the quarantine? Not because, you know, we like helping people or all those things, but more because it was the thing to do, the thing to stay relevant, the thing that everyone else is doing. If we're honest with ourselves, how much of that work was that obligatory post online workouts, that sort of thing. Like we just kind of went begrudgingly into this space. There's a lot of things I did that I knew was like, I've always wanted to do this. 
now is the time they'll be received. So let's do it. But then there's other things I did that I thought maybe I should do that. And uh, it dropped off quick because it wasn't my area of passion, like building content for on demand or like build like some of those things that comes naturally for some other people. I tried and I just, it just didn't stick with that. I didn't hate it, but I just realized that four or five days had gone by and I hadn't done it again. So I was like, okay, well, if this isn't coming naturally to me and it's not something I'm excited about, that this is not part of my why. <laughs> like, simple as that. And, uh, and I moved away from it. So that's, that's, that's one of the things that I learned during this time. So how was that for you? And while that's being answered in the chat, I'll bring up the second phrase. The second comment was uh, one that Brad said to Leslie yesterday when Leslie Logan was on and she was talking about agency mini sign up while it's still in the early bird phase uh, for her coaching thing. And she was talking and then Brad jumped in and said, this is her superpower where, and then she went on from there. He went on from there to talk about how Leslie has this, this, this knack for keeping your vision in front of you and keeping you excited and bring you back to your vision and bring you back to your vision. And then we're doing this because of, and that was her superpower to keep your own vision in front of you. What is your superpower? And it doesn't have to be that per se. And you don't even have to answer here in the chat, but for someone else to be able to look at you and say, well, this is your superpower. I thought it was a pretty cool moment. And if someone else can see it and you could recognize it, I would say maybe one of my superpowers is listening and having these conversations and, and engaging people and connecting the community. So that connecting piece through amplifying other voices, I think is one of my superpowers or else I wouldn't be at 300 conversations with total strangers who now become friends, that sort of thing. So we all have our, our ways of connecting. And for Leslie, it is bringing people together around community and helping them to focus on their why and getting them there. For me, an example would be these conversations where I'm listening and engaging and connecting and introducing the community to the community. We all have our little things and they don't have to be on a global scale like that, but knowing that superpower, reawakening your why and knowing your superpower are, is the second one I want to talk about. I'm going to read this comment here from Catherine Jaffrey Pilates. I did a lower back pain specialty, specialty, and although it was a great knowledge, I realized it's not something I'm passionate about and have started my equipment training instead. Yeah, exactly. That's a great, that's a great learning piece, right? And uh, that's not a waste of money. That's not a waste of time. That's not a waste of anything to understand. Maybe one more tool in your toolbox and also recognizing that that's not going to be your primary tool or your secondary tool or tertiary tool. It's going to be there. But not, you know, I, I have a bunch of courses like that. I, I have no prenatal, pre-postnatal people right now, for example. Did it, but. Uh, and Ali uh, saying, I love that. And to pay attention to what your clients and even friends, family notice about you. There's information about your purpose there. That's a scary thing. And I've had, I've been in, in courses and stuff where they've, you know, encouraged us, challenged us to just talk to a loved one and say, what, what do you, like about me? What do you see as my strengths? And get their feedback. Where do you need? Where do I need to grow? What are my growth opportunities? And those kind of uncomfortable, scary, vital conversations are um, are key. Hi, Carrie. So to move through that fear of who uh, who wants what I have, many right? Who wants what I have? Yes, we have a lot. We have a lot more than we think. Yeah, interesting. Interesting. So what is your superpower? Power. So Carrie, what is your superpower? Can you answer that? If you can't, that's fine. That's a good question to explore introspectively. Maybe we start there. Can you answer that question? For the people who are in the chat right now, can you, yes or no, answer the question, what is my superpower? And it's always going to be evolving and changing, but how, how many seconds does it take you to get that answer? If you have no clue, Go ask a friend.
Oh, Ali, I forgot. Did you want to join me on screen? I forgot that two minutes was like 27 minutes ago. Okay, I'm going to bring on Ali. And if anyone else wants to join us too, please uh, send your request. I'll get you in. Good hey. morning. <laughs> Good morning. Look at you in the foliage behind you. What's going on? Yes, <laughs> this, is, this is my new happy place. I've been um, uh, renovating my house finally. Um, and uh, have this nice outdoor area while I sit here and reconcile my um, business <laughs> account. So it's like, wow, yeah, six, of, six of one, half dozen of the other. Yes. <laughs> yeah. it, it looks like you have a green screen behind you, actually. It's like oh, that's so, so funny. polished. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I have this beautiful um, house that I bought, um, what, three and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. Plans to fix it up saving saving money and then COVID hit and then I was like I didn't want to touch anything so it was kind of like I don't know what's going to happen in the next year and then this year as things kind of start I won't say back to normal because I mm -hmm. I totally agree with what Blossom <laughs> is saying yes. nothing normal um you know I've definitely taken huge shifts but uh mm -hmm. I finally gotten to start on this house project um and just how fulfilling it is um, and I want to spend time here now, which I didn't, yes. you know, I yeah. used to leave, you know, in the morning and come back at night. And, you know, so, um, yeah, wanting to spend a lot more time at home. Great. Yeah. I hear you. We're going through our reno and, and a bunch of stuff as well. So it's a, that's a similar stage right now. I, I, yeah. I'm trying to create space to do that. So it's like, yeah, yeah. It takes some time. It takes some energy. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely yeah. hard. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then, but then that's, there's a good uh, example of, of that balance, right? Cause now we can't stop. So we're still asking ourselves questions of, in terms of our business and where it's going, but then what yeah. does that look like when there's all these other polls and demands? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then how much time have you given to think about your superpower or your why in the last 24 hours? Like probably like. Actually, like <laughs> that's been, um, a big shift for me over the past few months. Um, so uh, I just turned 50. So that's a big, Oh wow, nice. yeah. Nice. So there's kind of that like, and now what am I doing? Mm -hmm. So um, I was always, and I always will be, I'm very entrepreneurial. I'm always, I'm one of those people that wakes up in the morning and the brain is, you know, <laughs> um, Already which working. I think many of us are. Yeah. So, but I'm, I'm learning to um, try to slow down a little bit and enjoy more of my life life, um, less of my work life, even though mm -hmm. I love it. Yes. Um, and uh, yeah. Hi, Sunny. Um, and, uh, and, you know, it was funny what Leslie was saying yesterday, because it really resonated with me where I am. I've spent, um, I'm going to say like, the year before COVID feeling very um, kind of insecure about like, where's my place? You know, what am I doing with, you know, how I teach and, um, and then COVID hit and I just went into effort mode. Like mm -hmm. there's nothing to lose. And yes. then also having a bit of security with a lot of things being online. So I would just try stuff and throw yes. stuff out. And I started to, um, you know, kind of uh, put put things um, together in that way that, um, and I said this to a friend the other day, I don't need to know everything. I just need to know what I know. Yes. And I think that what I know so far is interesting and might be important to some people um, and valuable. And it's just a matter of, you just put it out there. Um, yeah. And good stuff. Yeah. And you just, yeah. you, you know, try to worry a little less about um, what people might think. And, you know, and I think getting to a certain age that helps because you're, you're literally like, um, there's like limited time, you know, right. <laughs> uh, you know, um, yes. 
Yeah. On, the, on the sidebar with that, I've heard people say that line about I'm at this age, I don't care anymore. I talked to this person in their yeah. 80s and they just said whatever and did whatever and they're happy. Yeah. I'm like, how do we attain that while we're still young? Like, why do we have to wait till we reach a certain age to not care what people think anymore? Well, I think we got to I mean, you're, you're going into my neck of the woods. I mean, I feel like we need to change <laughs> how we, um, how we, you know, rate, like, educate children like you know or moving from that you know um yes. directive kind of thing uh you know to letting people have more self-autonomy letting people discover um getting out of the place of scarcity and there's abundance there's mm -hmm. enough for everybody um and uh and i do think i have found a lot more um kindness and openness and community on social media in the last year as well. And I yes. think that that really needs to um, continue to, to grow. I think when you feel met and accepted as you are, you're going to spend a lot less time worrying about what you're not. And, yes. and well I think said. that needs to start early. You know, we, we model for our children, whether we're parents or not, you know, as adults, we are the model. So we are. the more that we practice that, then we're going to raise a generation yes. that will be even more and so on and so forth. Absolutely. Because it's such a, it's such a waste of time. Like I look back and I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe like from this age to this age, like I hated my body. Like I just hated it. It was like, it wasn't that now, even with the things that are happening to it, you know, I wake up, mm -hmm. I'm like, Oh, that wasn't there yesterday. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm, I, I'm more in love with it. And um, yes. yeah. Yeah. And I agree. It would be really nice to find that at a younger age. Right. And yeah. like you said, I think you figured it out in terms of, living that out and it's set an example i always say that a lot more things with with kids a lot more things are caught than taught yes yeah right? beautiful so way to say it yeah we could preach it all day but until they see my response when i'm disappointed or see my response when something's not going my way or see my response when i'm hurt or whatever and then how i you, they see that it's like, okay that builds yeah. some resilience that builds some confidence that builds some value yeah 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 totally right? i am um, I, I, I'm not saying a lot about it, but um, I'm really excited. I'm going to be um, filming at some point two workshops. And one of them is, is all about, it's about kids. And it's, um, you know, Amazing. it's move, movement for kids. There's some Pilates in there, yoga, meditation, and really teaching people um, about the importance of interoception and how, you know, kids are embodied. We lose that, you know. Um, right. And so how, how can we help them keep that? And I think that goes along with this conversation that they, yep. they retain their self-ownership. Right. Um, you know, so, yeah. Um, we gain uh, yeah, in inhibitions and mm -hmm. lose that. Yeah. That, yeah. 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 I have to say, Ali, just for... You, I'm sure it's the same for many people. I'm crossing paths with people at very interesting stages of their lives. Like mm -hmm. you are in a very good headspace and a good space in your life to a point where what you're saying about hating your body or not knowing where you fit in this plotty space and all those things, I can't even see that in you. <laughs> yeah. Right now. Yeah. Which yeah. is awesome, right? So yeah. good on you for you know navigating that path and taking the courage to navigate that path. Because it's easy to stay comfortable and just stay where we are right yeah and i i do and i you know some of the people are on this um you know uh on your program right now i'm seeing their names and um and again i think it's so helpful to have community you know there are people here that have really gone out of their way to kind of go hey you know i just want you to know you know that i think you're great or yes. i really enjoy what you do. Um, and then I try to reciprocate that so that instead yes. of us competing and getting on social media and being like, Oh my God, she's doing that. And he's doing that. And I, you know, that we really can be in that space of support. So that has been really helpful to me. Um, Amazing. Yeah. So thank you to a whole bunch of you who are on here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Inclu including no. you. What I, one no. of the things I love about what you do is that um, 
you're not just like, let's bring in all the big names. You know, I love the fact you couldn't remember, was it Kathy Yoga person, you know? Yeah. And, and then you finally did, you know, and the assumption is, and there's nothing wrong with this, but the assumption was, oh, this must be, uh, you know, a big time Kathy, you know, or, uh, you right. know, not saying, not saying she isn't, but you know what I'm saying. I know what you mean, yes. And that's what I, you know, that, that, that is the community. It's larger than exactly. just that upper circle. And I feel like you've done a huge service um, starting this and, and really being a part of that to say, this is our community, not just that, you know? Yeah. Right. Thank you. That's affirming because I am yeah. <laughs> so oh, passionate Anita. about that. Yes. Um, what was I going to say? My third statement, and you can jump on it and I'll, I'll, I'll let you go afterwards, yeah. is a phrase that I kind of made up this morning. I just literally just made this up this morning. Value attribution quotient. Whoa. Your, your value attribution quotient. How much value do I attribute to myself based on what I think about myself or what other people think about me. Mm -hmm. So is that value based on what other people think about me? Like you just said, you're awesome because you're doing these core conversations or is my value based on the fact that no, I really want to amplify voices and there's someone in England who's just as amazing as Kathy Ross Nash and I want them to have a voice. Mm -hmm. Is that value come from me or does that value come from you? And what quotient, what proportion as is each so i'm thinking about that as we think about our business and who we are and what we're doing how much of our value comes from within and how much of our value comes from without mm -hmm. i mean i would i would say that i hope that most of it comes from within or you're going to be really burned out and unhappy pretty pretty quickly um yep. you know it really is that the the cliche thing you know do what you love and the rest will follow Mm -hmm. And, um, and I think we see that in people that have the longevity, but also um, are, are changing, you know, I've watched some people yes. just make these really cool shifts in what they're doing. Um, and, uh, yeah, and I mean, I think we'd be lying if we said that, you know, what other people think of us doesn't matter. Come on. It's you. That's, you know, I was it just feels, about to say that. It like, feels, yeah come stroke my ego a little you know mm -hmm. it's like you know, you know yeah so i think that's so that's real normal. talk <laughs> yes. yeah i think that yeah i don't want to hear that oh i'm so hump no oh, um yes. there's, there's you wouldn't be able to survive in this business at all if you you know maybe <laughs> you know maybe you just want to have your little place but um because there is a showmanship a performance uh you know there's um a little bit to 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 what we do um and mm -hmm. uh it's how we keep other people engaged um, right. and, and draw people in. So um, I think we all have egos. There's, ego is not a bad word. Um, right. And actually, ego can be the thing that keeps that balance, you know, um, that you have enough of an ego for yourself that when someone does say something, you know, negative, because, you know, we have all of that as well yes. on social media. Um, there was, I just, it was on, uh, I think it was like America's Got Talent or something. There was this singer and she actually wrote this brilliant song and all of the lyrics were things that people had said about her on social media, like their comments. Um, and it was wow. so, it was brilliant because if you let that dictate, you know, um, how you're going to feel or how you're going to move forward or not move forward. You know, that's, that's as much of a problem as someone who's, you know, the egomaniac <laughs> that, uh, right. you know, lives on social media. Mm -hmm. So there needs to be a balance. Yes. Yeah, that was my real long story to say a short answer. <laughs> if you if you get to know me really well, you'll know that's quite typical. Right. This is okay. We're just flowing with it. I'll just I'll just summarize your your diatribe. You you, you can always just go okay. Right. <laughs> that's good. Uh, well, okay. So I'll let you go. Um, Thank but you. I just, let's let's keep talking value. Let's and and our perceived value of ourselves and how we bring that to the space. So. That's awesome. Thank, Thank you. you so much for joining me. It was very fun chatting. Oh, it's really, really good to see you, even though I see you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Martin. Thanks. See you, Ali. Bye.
And there. Philip Griffin, what's going on, man? So good having you in my class yesterday. That was fun. I loved having you in my online class. If you guys want to join in my online applies classes, shameless plug for what I'm doing. It was so fun having a fellow instructor in my class. By no means am I intimidated by having another instructor in there judging or feeling like, oh, it should be like this. Let's just play. Let's just move. Let's just have fun. You're more than welcome. Message me if you want to be in the Tuesday, Thursday, or Friday class like Phil was yesterday. That was awesome. Um, Carrie Miller, affirmation, confirmation, a appreciation. Yes, all those things tie into our value and the sense of that value coming from outside and inside. And like Ali was saying, it's real talk to say that that stuff matters. Those outside opinions do matter to some of us and our ego can protect us or boost us up and just feed from those. So it's all good stuff. Uh, Carrie's comment, which one drives you to answer the question you asked about the value? Yeah, exactly. So I'm, I'm, am I driven by affirmation, confirmation, or appreciation? And are those internal or external in their origin as well? Good stuff. We are, we have 12 minutes left. And if anyone else wants to join me on screen, you're more than welcome to jump in, request to join live and let's keep this conversation going. But I'm gonna bring in the fourth comment, the fourth phrase that will influence, that influence my business. And, uh, and hopefully it's something that continues to fuel and spur yours on. The phrase, I saw a need. I saw a need. A lot of times we have people who go out and they get their degree and they get their certification and then they get their uh, master's degree and then they get a mastermind group together and then they form an organization and they, all these different things. And they take these 19 steps to get to a place instead of just seeing a need and going. Going may mean surround yourself with the right people to make it happen. Going may mean asking for help. Going may mean just like an entrepreneur, like you jump out of the plane and build your parachute on the way down. All depends on who you are and how you go, but go. A lot of the conversations I've been having with people over the last little while have been really encouraging conversations, which sound counterintuitive because I'm big on preparation. I, that's my whole mindset. It's all about preparation and, and doing the work. But then I can be an overthinker. I'm like, I say it all the time. I'm a charter member of Overthinkers Anonymous. So I want to have everything lined up. But at the same time, to have that sense, I just don't have any time to pounding my fist because I'm really passionate about this. That sense of a need, seeing the need and going, everything else will follow if you follow that need. If you go from your place of passion, the things that you're most excited about, the things that make you come alive and open your space to do that thing, you will be surprised, shocked, humbled by how much support, love, finances, whatever resources you need will come. Ask I mean, how many people can you ask about that? You can ask Leslie Logan. You know what I mean? You you can ask Jill Hinson. She started a breast cancer Pilates program and has a whole method. And she was a rookie teacher when all these things started to come together. She was on last week and she was saying, I didn't know anything when I started this. And now she's a full-blown nonprofit organization. Just go. When you see that need, go. I feel that if people would go from that place of recognizing the need that they can, they have a passion for and that they can fill, whew, yes, yes, that's a, that's a place of service, exactly. And then true leadership is a servant leadership, right? So if we get that and we see, in my case, I see so many men that need Pilates. I don't need to be a rock star teaching the elite teachers of teachers and, and traveling the world with that, if I can get people who've never done Pilates in their life, that are men, that are athletes, that are weekend warriors, that are sitting at a desk, try and Pilates for the first time and make it appealing to them, make it make sense in their body, like that's, that's it for me. I see that need. I see men that need that and everything goes into that. 
And you'd be surprised at how many times, how many opportunities have come as a result of me just expressing my passion for that. Spaces like this behind me, you know, like opportunities, like, you know, whether it's like NBA teams or like grassroots teams or whatever it is, you start to become perceived as the expert if you keep talking about that need that you see that you're trying to service. And then a niche is formed and then expertise and then subject matter expertise. And then your business gets crafted around this niche. And then you still take care of everybody. I have everyone coming in from yogis to the injured to, to people who have different specific goals. But my eyes light up when someone says, I'm going to send my husband in. Right? What's that need for you? What needs do you see in your immediate area? that you want to address with your, with your work. You can put it in the chat. Or you can request to join me on live and share. I'm open to either with eight minutes left. Harry Miller Pilates, let's get it. Hey, good, morning, good morning, Martin. I uh, it's uh, seven fifty three here, so I just got up. <laughs> so you you got me early. I was like, ah, I'm not ready to join, but whatever, it doesn't Love matter. It. <laughs> Still drinking my coffee. I'm on the patio, so uh, yes, it's another beautiful day in Southern California. Yes. Wonderful, yeah, rough life. I hear it. <laughs> so to just circle what you were talking about is the need, and mm. you and I have had a wonderful conversation not too long ago about. Um, really focusing on the need and being generous with your gifts yeah. and that like leading with generosity, I think is the first step. Like how mm -hmm. is what I do? Like how, how are my gifts going to serve the world? So it's kind of like that. Where are we in the world? And I, yeah. so example, I don't do pre and postnatal. If I have someone that comes in, I can, but it's just yeah. not my niche. And I, I know so many good teachers that that's, that's what they love. And that's, how they study, they've studied mm -hmm. that. So I'm going to recommend them. So if For we sure. all just kind of are bold enough to find out what we're good at, right? right. Hey, and Leslie. really what lights us up, that's going to make us feel empowered and empower the community. And so that generosity can go around. Right. Um, so that's, that's where I like a, to work from. And it's also a place of purpose. Most of us get into this business because mm -hmm. there's a need. We want to serve others. And that's like how yes. we started, right? Yes. So if we go back to that service-oriented mindset instead of mm -hmm. the ego mindset of like, am I the best? How about we're all stars and we all serve yes. a purpose and we're all connected and we right. all teach a work that's bigger than us. Right. Exactly. I love that. Um, that's that. We're all stars. Leslie's just sending a love there. She's popping Oh, hi, hi Leslie. To, um, we're all stars. That's a warm, fuzzy way of saying we're all the best. We're all good. We yeah, all are, there's like, so many beautiful stars in the sky. Right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I, there's I, from a sport athlete background. Sorry. I know that. In, no, I'm just kidding. Like, I love it. Like, it's like if we're saying the same thing in different ways because, like, if you don't think that you are the best person on the field or on the court. Right you're going to get trampled, right? So you don't have to carry it in a, in a cocky way, but you can just carry that confidence and knowing that I'm here for a reason. Mm -hmm. I have a purpose and that is different than the person next to me's purpose. So I'll right. do me really, really, really well. And you do yourself really, really, really well. And we're all taking care and we're all going to win. And then it just creates that more like abundance that this work yes. is about abundance. And if I can't help you, I'm going to send you to someone else. I, so I, I've recommended men to you. I was like, go see Martin, check his page out. He has men's classes. You know, I don't teach men normally and we will work a little bit, but I, I think you should look at him. I don't move in the same way. Go check to go check him out. So that, that, yes. I, that's just, that's how we grow our community. And Absolutely. we grow it by this kind of conversation of saying, Hey, we're all stars. We're all, there is abundance. There's more than enough people on this universe to, to work with. So we don't, yes. yeah. And then we're, our need is to serve. 
What is your specific gift? You just said it. I love working with men. I love working with athletes. I love working with women and getting especially middle age and teachers and getting them out of the mindset of um, body shame. There's so much about it. Like I grew up yes. with that. And as a dancer, that was an issue. So I'm done. Like I'm off that train. I don't care. Right. I don't care. That's, that's great. And I love the way you say that you can almost hear those almost like, it's like you become a vigilante for it, right? Like, you, <laughs> it's like, yeah, here Batman, I am. Like, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I'm done. Like, I'm yes. done. And it, right. it's not allowed in my class and it goes right. down that place. I'm like, all right, stop. Why are you going there? <laughs> yes. Why? You're an able body. Well, let's just take it a pause right there. You are yes. enough. You are beautiful. You are this. Like, if you aren't feeling that, then we got to stop. Like, so there's a lot of mindset work that, yes. that we do. And, and if, like, you know, just like sports, if you're not in that place, then how mm -hmm. can you serve? Right. And how can you receive? Receive, right? They have to receive it. Yes. Yep. There you go. Everyone, I know. I know. Is everyone pretty <laughs> excited about this now? Is everyone pretty hyped to go out and just, like, do themselves well at this point? Like, yeah. I am. Let's yeah. all be stars. Let's light I'll up the sky, stars. you know? Yep. And if we all really own that, we can change the universe. I really believe that. Yep. Because we're all designed with these wonderful gifts. Yes. Yeah. Getting lots of hearts there, Carrie. Aw, well, I got a lot of people. <laughs> Lori. Hi, Lori. Yeah. I mean, well, you're a star, so you just support all the stars. So thanks for having me. <laughs> and this is, you know, jump on here. So unprepared yes. but that's okay spontane spontaneity is good too exactly exactly well cheers to you thanks for sharing some of your morning <laughs> with me. have a great thank day you. thanks thank Martin. you Eugene. yes i think carrie's pretty awesome as well laurie um i think you're all awesome i love how she said that i'm actually going to write that down and run with that stars They even said all stars. Talk about a double entendre. We are all stars. We are all stars and we are all stars. Loving it. This is how we do, people. 1059, four phrases to influence your business. We looked at reawakening your why, looking at what your superpower is, looking at those values and what you attribute that value to. And then lastly, do you see a need? What is that need? Run with those four. Shout out to Leslie Logan, who has her agency mini where she'll dive deep on these things and do it in such a better way than me. That's her niche. And all of you that have workshops and stuff coming up, please put it in the comment section. We're cheering for all of you. Blossom was on earlier talking about some of the uh, online content she has coming up and some traveling, some workshops she's doing. Ali is working on some content as well, and Arendo at the same time. So for all of you that are doing your work, from your place of value, from the needs that you see, be that star, keep doing what you're doing, and we'll continue to cheer you on. So thank you everyone for joining me today. That was such a good chat. Laura's joining us tomorrow and Miss Angela is on Friday. So we got some people coming in and thank you for the last three days I had nobody on. I've had some amazing spontaneous gifts, gifts, guests, and it's been so good. So thank you for joining me today and we out. <laughs>